If you've ever thought about starting an AI food blog, but you felt overwhelmed by how much content you'd actually need to create, this video is for you. Food is one of the biggest niches on Pinterest and that's a fact. It has an endless traffic potential, but the challenge has always been producing enough high quality articles to actually compete. To make things easier, I built and I recently updated my AI recipe plugin. With just one click, it can generate full and detailed recipes that look and read like something you would find on any major cooking site. And to be honest, it makes scaling a food blog much easier and much faster. But before I dive in, I want to invite you to Pin Lions, which is my private Pinterest community. In short, you can get access to all of my tools, prompts, workflows, and you can connect with people from all over the world who are basically doing the same thing. They are growing their sites on Pinterest. On top of that, I can have a look on your Pinterest account and see if you can potentially do something better. So if you want direct feedback from me, join the community. The link is in the description. And before I show you the tool, I want to show you some of the stats. And I just want to tell you why I focus on food blogs so much. The food niche is absolutely massive on Pinterest. It's one of the most searched categories on the platform. And it's very simple because people are always looking for new recipes, new ideas, new desserts, meal prep hacks, and so on. The demand never goes away. So overall, every single day, we have thousands of people who are looking for recipes on Pinterest. And if you combine the demand for that with the fact that with AI tools, we can generate very high quality articles, well, that's basically a money-making machine. And I know that there are a few tools that basically make the same thing. I know that Content Goblin is very popular, but personally, I decided to create my own tool just to use my own prompts and to make it exactly as I want it. In a minute, I'm gonna show you how you can get access to this plugin, but first, let me show you how it works. It's called Recipe Writer. Basically, you go to Add Recipes, and you enter as many recipes as you want. And you have to enter a single recipe per line. So for example, we can do million dollar chicken casserole. We can do Italian spaghetti. We can do Italian meatballs. We can do blueberry muffins and strawberry cheesecake. This is just an example, but you basically enter what you want to create. So we have five recipes and we can add them to the queue. So let's click add to the queue. Now all of these recipes are here on the recipe list. They are all pending. And to create all of these articles in bulk, we just have to click the button that says create all articles. Once you click on that button, it's going to say processing all and you will just have to wait until all of these generations are completed. After one minute, two articles are completed already and three are still processing. So let's wait a little bit longer and I'm gonna show you the result. We are almost there. And as you can imagine, if you click on the few draft, we are going to go to the draft of the blog post. So as an example, this is our article, million dollar chicken casserole that tastes like payday, but costs less than takeout. Overall, the text here is great. Why you love this recipe, what goes into this recipe with ingredients, instructions, how to store health benefits, avoid these mistakes, mix it up, FAQ, and that's pretty much it. If you publish the article, you will get something like this, a very nice image and the great article. There is also an option to include recipe cards where the user can basically print the PDF version of this recipe. Right now I've got this turned off, but it's optional. If you want, you can use it with the plugin too. Another example here, Italian spaghetti that slaps the 20 minute date night hero you will crave weekly, very nice image. And just like before, the secret behind this recipe, ingredients, cooking instructions, and so on. And what's important, every time that you generate an article, it's slightly different because the headings are different. So if five people would generate an article about Italian spaghetti, well, each one of these articles will be slightly different, which is great because there will be no duplicate content. Another example, Italian meatballs that actually melt in your mouth. Great quality image, great recipe, everything looks perfect. Next article is blueberry muffins that actually make mornings worth it. Bakery style, moist, zero fuss. What makes this recipe so good? Shopping list, cooking instructions, and so on. 
And the last article that we have here, this strawberry cheesecake slaps, creamy, dreamy and guaranteed to steal the spotlight. Very nice looking image. What makes this recipe awesome? Shopping list, ingredients, let's get cooking. So as you can see with just one click, by clicking this button, create all articles, we generated five articles that we added to our list. And this is very powerful because honestly, you can use that plugin to create 200 or 300 articles very, very quickly. And I know that some people may ask, where is the rest of images? And in my opinion, using only one image is fine for Pinterest recipes. If you want to get better RPMs, if you want people to stay longer on your site, you can optimize these articles and you can do it on your own. This part will actually surprise you because each one of these articles generated by my tool costs around 10 cents. So if you want to build a foundation of your food blog and you want to create 100 articles, you are going to pay only $10 on average. And if you want to go big, if you want to create a massive website with a thousand recipes, well, it's gonna cost you around $100. So honestly, it's not a lot. So this tool can save you a lot of time because you can still do it manually, but for each article, you would have to go to ChatGPT, use a very good prompt to create the article, then you would have to copy it to WordPress, you would have to create the prompt for the image, then you would have to go to Ideogram and create the image, then you would have to download the image and go to WordPress, then publish the article and so on. But here, one click and you have basically a hundred articles just like that. If you want to get access to this tool, you have to be a member of PinLions community. A few members are already using it on a daily basis and some of them are already starting to see results. And I'm using this tool on a daily basis too and my sites are growing. So there is no other way. You have to be a member to get this plugin. And apart from this plugin, you also get access to a lot of different stuff. You can get access to all of my prompts, all my other tools, my workflows, and you also get one-on-one -on -one DM access to me so I can help you directly. On top of that, in the coming weeks, I will be releasing a tool for home decor bloggers that will allow you to generate high quality listicles in the home decor niche. These are the exact types of articles that perform very well on Pinterest. So my goal is to make it as easy for members to scale their sites very fast. So I know I talk about food blogs quite often on this channel, but it's time to start talking about home decor as well, because it's a fantastic niche too. And I want to mention that Pin Lions is not only about tools, it's about the people. Because when you join Pin Lions, you are part of an international group of creators and everyone is doing the same thing. Everyone is growing on Pinterest. Everyone is building their niche sites. And since we have people from all over the world and a lot of different countries, there is a chance that you will find someone from your area, from your country, who is actually doing on Pinterest. How cool is that? So in my opinion, it's quite motivating and inspiring to meet people who are on the same journey as you. It's a place to get real feedback on your blog and on your strategy. So if you are serious about growing on Pinterest, join the Pin Lions today. The link is in the description. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this quick video was helpful. And if it was, consider subscribing to this channel. See you next time.